Hi there, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling, your go-to source for the latest and greatest in tech solution. Today in this video, we're tackling a crucial topic for small to medium-sized businesses, reliable Wi-Fi coverage. And we'll be diving deep into an ultimate Wi-Fi coverage solution that ensures your business stay connected no matter the distance. And if you have any problems with your Wi-Fi system design or setup, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with the solution that tailor for your specific need, all for free. Now, so let's jump right in. First, let's talk about why reliable Wi-Fi is so essential for small to medium-sized businesses. In today's fast-paced world, Connectivity is the key, whether it's for processing transaction, communicating with clients, or simply ensuring that your employees can work efficiently. A strong and reliable Wi-Fi network is a must, but many businesses face common Wi-Fi issues such as dead zones, weak signals, interference and connectivity drops and these problems can lead to lost productivity frustrated customers and ultimately a negative impact on your bottom line now let's imagine the scenario you're running a growing business with multiple buildings perhaps you have an office a warehouse and a remote storage facility that all need to stay connected to the same network and a traditional Wi-Fi solution might struggle to cover such distances. So that's where our ultimate solution comes in. A long-distance fiber optic cables pair with multiple wireless access points. Now let's break this down. First, why do we choose fiber optic cables? Well, fiber optics are the backbone of our solution because they offer high-speed, low latency, and excellent long-distance coverage. Unlike copper cables, fiber optics can transmit data over a much longer distances without signal degradation. So this makes them perfect for connecting buildings that spread out over a large area. Now, let's talk about wireless access points, or WAPs. Now, these devices are critical in extending Wi-Fi coverage to different areas. WAPs receive the data transmitted via the fiber optic cables and broadcast it as a Wi-Fi signal. And this ensures that every corner of your business location, no matter how remote, get a strong and reliable Wi-Fi signal. And there are various types of WAPs suitable for different business needs. For instance, indoor WAPs are great for office and retail spaces, while the outdoor WAPs can withstand weather conditions, making them ideal for connecting outdoor areas like warehouses or remote storage facility. And high-density WAPs are perfect for areas with a high concentration of devices. Ensure that all your employees stay connected without any slowdowns. So for today's setup, we are going to use our indoor and outdoor wireless access point. Now this one right here is our high-performance, high-speed indoor dual-band ceiling mounted access point, offering up to 300 megabit per second access speed on 2.4 gigahertz and up to 866 megabit per second on 5 gigahertz. It also provides better transmission quality and higher transmission rates with a maximum concurrent rates of up to 1,200 megabit per second. It supports hardware watchdog functionality, automatically recovering from abnormal conditions without maintenance. And its elegant design with hidden port housing provide a neat cabling and also support two power supply method, the 48 volt PoE and DC 12 volt. So integrating the fiber optic backbone with wireless access point is straightforward. All you need is a fiber switch and a media converter. 
Now, the fiber switch acts as the central hub, distributing the data through fiber optic cables to various locations. And we're using the 8 plus 8 fiber switch. It has 8 Ethernet port and 8 SFP slot. It is a comprehensive device featuring gigabit network speed, gigabit uplink speed, high security and flexibility on application and installation. And the fiber media converter can convert the fiber signal to a format that can be used by the wireless SS1. And today we're using the compact media converter and the two port fiber PoE media converter. Now this is a device that can deliver PoE plus that's 30 watts output power and gigabit network in long distance fiber network system by eliminating dedicated AC outlets. And also we have a 10G media converter available if needed. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So now let's walk through the installation process. For this setup, we're going to connect two wireless access point over there using fiber optic cable. So first, we have a router here. It is already powered up and getting the internet access. So we're going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to our fiber switch. Connect to one of the ethernet port. And these two are the SFP slot for our SFP module. Now this is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Let's plug them in. We'll need two of them since we are connecting to two devices. Here is a fiber patch cord. Now let's use them. Insert it into the SFP module. And this two fiber patch cord is connecting to our fiber distribution box. Now, this thing will keep all your cables neat and clean. So let's plug them in. So we have two and inside the distribution box, we have our fiber optic cable. Now this is a pre-made fiber optic cable, which is a game changer because they simplify the setup process and ensure high quality connection. Now we already connect one end to the distribution box and we are going to connect this one to our fiber media converters. So let's plug in the fiber patch cord again. One and two. Here we go. And we're going to connect them to our media converter. Now for the first one, we are using the PoE media converter, which simplifies the setup by providing both power and data over a single ethernet cable. And for the second one, we're going to use a compact media converter and we'll use a traditional power adapter for the SS point. So now let's connect them. First, we need the SFP module as well. Plug it into the SFP slot. Connect with the fiber patch cord. And then this is the PoE port. Plug it into it. And for the compact media converter, we are going to do the same thing, the SFP module, the fiber patch cord, and connect a short patch cord. It is already powered up. As you can see, the first ones go into our ceiling mounted AP. So we have DC and PUE. Let's plug it into the PUE port and mount it back on the ceiling. Now another Ethernet cable is going to connect to our outdoor wireless access point. It is already powered up with a power adapter so I'm going to just plug in the Ethernet cable now we have the ceiling mount for indoor coverage and a pole mount for outdoor. And this can ensure optimal placement for the best signal strength and coverage.
So the connection is basically done. So let's turn on our Wi-Fi and connect to our access point and check out if we have internet access. Now this one is one of our access point. It is connected. Let's go on to our website. Here we go. So you are getting the internet access from this setup using the fiber optic cables. And there you have it, our long distance fiber optic and multiple wireless access point solution can provide seamless Wi-Fi coverage across all your business locations. And if you have more locations within the same building, you can expand the network further with a mesh network or replace the media converter with a PoE switch equipped with SFP slots for additional devices. Now, thank you very much for tuning in to Fast Cabling. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech solutions. And if you have any questions or need further assistance, you can feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.